Believers, you are welcome to Believers Global TV. If you know you are truly a believer, then this is the right place for you. This is Believers Global TV. On this channel, we create Christian content that will edify your spirit, that will build you up in the way of the Lord. And all the contents that we create on this channel are purely Christian content. So, please subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification bell so that each time we release any content at all, you'll be notified. The Bible says our faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So it is what you hear that builds you up. It is what you hear that transforms your life. It is what you hear and you engage that brings result into your life. So please, as you're about to listen to this message, please, when you listen, make sure that your spirit, your mind, your soul is part of this and let your heart be open, open listen with a heart of faith, listen with a believing heart, let there be no doubt in your mind, let there be no doubt in, doubt in your heart. So as we are about to listen to this, I pray that this message will profit you in the name of Jesus. So without wasting much of our time, let's get into the message. God bless you. In Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, having encountered Jesus for a period of three and a half years, he left them with a promise. He says, ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, to the uttermost part of the earth. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen, we need power. Settle it once and for all. Power is not for preachers. Power is not for apostles and prophets. Power is for believers. He said, tarry ye in Jerusalem until ye be endued with power. I have taught you here, it takes power to excel in business. It takes power to be wealthy and remain wealthy for the kingdom. He says there is something called the power to prosper. It takes power to stand upon the truth of God's word. Warding off all the yokes of darkness that daily continue to scheme themselves to bring you down. I hope you know that there are forces mandated by hell at every given point in your life and your Christian experience, you are a project in the kingdom of darkness. Let me repeat it if you do not hear. Let me tell you the truth. The Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness. For as long as you are alive and you are vowed with your life to serve the purposes of the kingdom, there are demons and spirits assigned to you. Their assignment is to bring you down and to make sure that the counsel of the Lord does not stand in your life, in your ministry. You will be joking to believe that there are no spirits assigned against Koinonia or against Joshua Selman. But thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph mama you need power so that the devil does not make a ship wreck out of your children man of god you need power without power listen to me things will go down in your life and you will be surprised businessman you need power you can buy and sell and make financial decisions but hear me there are spirits the king of tyre will manipulate the economy to make you lose so that you cannot sponsor the church it takes power can i tell you the way demons plague our world today it it used to be people did not pray respectfully speaking it was not a prayer point for a woman to get pregnant and give birth to a child but now it has people get married and the next project is prayer for the next one month because you are not even sure you just watch and see no it takes power it takes power that as a woman you lay your hands and say i will not only give birth my womb will not produce an arm robber my womb will not produce a devil it will not produce a demon kings will come out of my loins is someone learning supernatural empowerment you need power to live in today's world encounters bring power one day you get up you just touch a part of your body and you see some swelling coming you would think it's just a little boil then it begins to grow then it begins to grow in two weeks it has grown to be twice the size of your thigh and they tell you ah, 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 ah. 
you have 10 more days to live in the name of Jesus I declare over anyone here if there is any stranger roaming around your body and around your life everything that has not been planted by my father by the power of the Holy Ghost I take it out of your body now I take it out of your business now out of your ministry now listen the Bible says while men slept farmers came to sow they sowed wheat they sowed good business they came and they sowed a great evangelical ministry but while men slept while men slept you are not the only one holding seeds there are spirits holding seeds to come and plant seeds of discord in your church your organization if you keep quiet and you are bankrupt of power you will keep watching your life go down hallelujah you see business partners who have been in business and alliance for many years just when good things are about to happen here comes this wicked sower called the devil he will sow a seed push this one out and that's the end of the business Lipsin, let me tell you the truth i know what i'm saying you know without power you will not survive the days that are before us favor wants to come to you the devil will manipulate a man to say you see that lady please do not bless her i don't i have a problem with her mother what is the lady's business with your trouble with the mother every wrong ears that listen every everyone who wants to speak wrongly to your destiny help us so that they will not help you i call upon my god to silence them now hallelujah hallelujah the wife of Herod when they were preparing to crucify Jesus the wife of Herod went to sleep and she had a dream she got up and called her husband she says see take your hands away from this man I have seen in a dream that he's innocent even though in this case Jesus allowed himself because it was the hidden wisdom of God so that you will be crucified and in his death you will bring many sons to glory but the woman because of her heart she called her husband and said don't fight this man don't fight this man the power of God can rest upon you and grant you wisdom Power does not just mean signs and wonders alone. Power translates to wisdom. Sometimes you want to speak and the restraining power, keep quiet. That silence is what can make you a CEO because they are waiting for who does not have emotional intelligence to speak. And you want to speak, but the Holy Ghost restrains you. And you keep quiet and they say, the one who is silent, please assume the office tomorrow. Do you not know it takes power to keep quiet? in this noisy world there are people who will pay people millions of naira to walk close to them if they understand their ability to keep quiet hmm. we are wrapping up or oh, listen to me because something is about to land upon your life you didn't come here tonight to waste your time are we together now yes the bible says when a man faints in life what God gives him is not encouragement. He giveth power to the faint. That means if you are fainting, what you lack is power. Is that true? That if you turn aside in the day of battle, how many of you have seen, listen, to the military with all due respect, when army runs away in battle, there is a name they call it, and there are, there are punishments that are met because they violate their oath to be able to defend the nation. That sometimes even at the face of death, these people stand and valiantly fight. The believer was never designed to run away. He said, haven't done all to stand. Stand. It takes power to stand. Even if you have to stand alone. You are in a family of 30 people. Everybody is an unbeliever. And prophecy has come that is a new season. But who is that one man? If the men are not serious, God will raise one woman like Deborah. And now you are going to stand. You will stand the standing of men and the standing of women at the same time. Haven't done all to stand. It takes power to stand and speak and declare and pray and fast and push until prophecy comes to pass. 
Many of you have come here for service tonight, genuinely lacking power. You are exhausted in your spirit work. It's half of the year already. And some of you, you've gassed out in business, in life. Welcome to the house where you are refilled. When there was no more oil, the lamp stopped burning. The lamp did not spoil. It only stopped because there was no oil. For some of you, your lamp is still there. Your ideas are still there. Your ministry is still there. Your business is still there. The only problem is that the oil has finished. I come by the grace of God as a privileged them that sell. Let there be oil in your lamp. Let there be oil in your lamp. Let there be oil in your lamp. Fresh oil upon your head. Fresh oil upon your lamp. Let it burn like never before. There's a song that says, Give me oil in my lamp. Let it keep me burning. Give me oil in ministry. Let me keep moving. Give me oil upon my gift. Give me oil upon my business. Give me oil upon my family. I am a mother of five children. Give me oil, the grace to keep pushing. Give me oil, let me keep praying. Give me oil, let me keep fasting. Give me oil, let me keep studying. Convenient or not. Takes more than desire. Encounters provide a platform for empowerment listen I'm wrapping up Solomon was a man who was now appointed as a young man to be king over God's people he was bankrupt of wisdom and understanding but the Bible tells us that after he burned several offerings in the night he had a dream the vision of a night and he had an encounter with the God of the Bible and he said Solomon you have called my attention through your sacrifice what should I do for you and he said I am a young man and you have given me this responsibility over your people I am ignorant I am limited in knowledge he said grant unto your host, your servant an understanding heart and God was so pleased the Bible says and he said because you have not asked for material things nor the life of your enemies he says I will grant unto you an understanding heart but alongside I will give you riches wealth and honor like never before grant you the capacity to discern judgment thank you thank you thank you thank you for staying to the end of this message I know your life has been blessed I know your soul has been blessed by this message and I encourage you if you have not subscribed to this channel please oh I'm saying me I'm begging now please subscribe to this channel and also like this message you have just listened to and also share with others in that way you're also doing the work of an evangelist so don't be ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation let someone know about jesus because you are still breathing god bless you see you in another video bye 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 <laughs>